In our previous lesson, we learned how to solve radical equations. In this lesson, we want to look at the concept of equality of sets. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to solve questions involving equal sets. Now, let's look at the concept. When two or more expressions are separated by an equal to sign, which includes radicals, then we say that those sets are equal. Mathematically, we can write that A plus root B is equal to C plus root D. In this equation, there is a left-hand side and a right-hand side. In the left-hand side, we have a rational part of the whole expression, and we have the irrational or the set part of the expression. To the right, we have the rational part and the irrational part or the set part. Because the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, we can write that A is equal to C, which means the rational part of the left-hand side is equal to the rational part of the right-hand side. Also, root B is equal to root D. That means the irrational part is also equal to the irrational part. And from this particular equation, when we square both sides, this divides this divides and we have B is equal to D. That is quite simple. Let us consider this example. If x minus 3 plus root of y plus 2 is equal to minus 1 plus root 5, then find the values of x and y. So to solve this, we're going to apply the concept of equality of sets, which says that the rational part here will be equal to the rational part here, and the irrational part here would also be equal to the irrational part here. So this means that x minus 3 is equal to negative 1. From this, we can solve for the value of x. So x minus 3 is equal to minus 1. x is equal to minus 1 plus 3. And then x is equal to 2. We will also go on to equate the irrational parts. Root of y plus 2 is equal to the root of 5. Let us square both sides. Now we get y plus 2 is equal to 5. We can now solve for the value of y. So y plus 2 is equal to 5, y is equal to 5 minus 2, and y is equal to 3. Therefore, 
x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3. This brings us to the end of this lesson. In this lesson, we have learned that when two expressions involving sets are equated, the rational part of the left-hand side is always equal to the rational part of the right-hand side. And the irrational part of the right-hand side is also equal to the irrational part of the left-hand side. When we form these equations, we can find the value of unknown variables. In our next lesson, we'll be looking at finding the square root of an irrational expression. See you in the next lesson.